All right, so we're back finishing off season one in the Make Valencia Great Again career mode. We're in the January transfer window, and that means we're making a signing. We're making a very big addition to the side. Alexis Vega for free is joining Valencia in his first game in a Valencia jersey at home at the Mestalla against Villarreal. The first chance does come to the away team as Jeremy Pino plays it to Serloth. And we can see just five minutes into this one. 1-0 one to the Yellow Submarines. And it is not a good start for us. But here we go on the attack shortly after Pedro Neto plays it to the debuting Alexis Vega. Playing striker. Seeing how things go. Our attack looks a little bit nicer with the addition of Alexis Vega. Now we have a free kick here. Which the Portuguese Almeida is going to go ahead and strike. An absolutely fantastic free kick from distance. This man, our number 10, our Portuguese midfield maestro, is a fantastic player. And he does not have the biggest free kick accuracy at just 80, but... Now when I tell you this guy can strike a dead ball, that is an absolutely beautiful free kick, man. That is super, super nice. And I don't know, man. That was just fantastic. Almeida, what a goal that was. Shortly after, we clear it from a Villarreal corner. And it's that man, Alexis Vega. He definitely has the speed. Does he have to finish one-on-one? -on -one? Alexis Vega on his first game, on his debut for Valencia. Slots it home, the Mexican gives us the lead at 2-1. Almeida tied the game with a beautiful strike. Alexis Vega with a beautiful strike himself for his first goal. Sir Lotto with a chance to make it 2-2. But Ma Mamardashvili with a fantastic save. But we have a good chance to finish it as Vega plays it to Hugo Duro. And that's exactly what he does. He finishes it off. It's 3-1. It's pretty much game over. But a fantastic counter-attacking play from Valencia. And take a look at this for some comedy, man. What on earth was that from our goalkeeper? That was my fault. I tried passing it off from the back quick. I think I pressed the wrong button. I don't know. Jeremy Pino pounces. But thankfully, it nothing came of it. Because we ended up winning three goals to two. And just after that game, we hit up yet another Mexican, Tecatito, Jesus, Corona is coming to Valencia as well. Yet another Mexican free agent, a 31-year-old, I think, but he's an 80-rated, and I mean, we're not going to say no to some free agents as this next game is against Athletic Bilbao here. First chance comes to them. Berenguer plays it to Sunset. And Mamadishvili makes a fantastic save at his near post. Now we have yet another free kick. Can Almeida replicate his absolutely banging free kick? Unfortunately not. That was so close, man. This guy has a fantastic dead ball specialist. But anyways, Villera come through here with Anthony Martial. Out of all players, Martial playing for the Basque uh, club here, Athletic Bilbao. They take the lead 1-0, an absolutely dead game. This goal coming in the second half, not that many chances, but we have one here. In the 90th minute, Almeida leading the attack, plays it out here to Tecatito Corona on his debut, crosses it inside to Hugo Duro. An impact sub as Alexis Vega has been stealing the starting striking role from Hugo Duro but he makes good on his chance coming in as a sub saving the day as he rescues a point for Valencia and that 1-1 one, one draw fantastic 90th minute header next game coming against Sevilla the first chance does come to Sevilla Ocampos plays it to end the series and that really should have been a goal man but end the series Flopping his chance and Jose Guy has a good chance here. Plays it to Hugo Duro. Plays it to Chiquinho. This man has not appeared much. I did expect big things to him. But this man has been pretty mid so far in this career mode. We're going to have to wait and see what comes of him next season. But as you can see here. Uh, Sevilla do take the lead through Lucas Ocampos. With a nice little goal there. A nice little uh, attacking build up from Sevilla as they take the lead here at the Mistaya and take a look at this Marcel plays it to Eric Lamella who has a beautiful strike from outside the box 
He doubles the lead and yeah man, what can you say? I mean You're just not gonna save it. You just cannot defend it. Eric Lamella doubles Sevilla's lead with a fantastic strike. There's just nothing else to it, man. That was a fantastic goal. I just have nothing else to say. Pepelu brings it over the top to Alexis Vega who shrugs his man off, leaving him for dead. And that is a fantastic little goal from Alexis Vega as we make a game of it. It's game on. It's now two goals to one. And straight from that, straight from kickoff. Something obviously happens since the gameplay is still recording. Chiquinho, he steals it. And we go in the attack straight from kickoff. We steal it. He'll go do it with the chest to make it 2-2. But he sells us so hard. I don't know why I'm clapping, man. Because I should be on my hands and knees asking how he missed that chance. We lost 2-1. The next game is against the Getafe. Now, though, I missed the opening cutscene, whatever, whatever. But the game is against the Getafe. We have a good chance here to open the scoring 11 minutes. And it's Alexis Vega. This man has been so so good ever since signing for us man he has been a fantastic player he's just he's just so good man and at striker he loses a rating because he doesn't play a striker position but he's so good in that position he comes here once again Alexis Vega saved by David Soria but uh Neto here makes good on the rebound it is now two nothing in 20 minutes so two goals 20 minutes fantastic stuff against Getafe and it's looking like a nice little goal fest first but right before the break Oscar plays it to Ernest Unal with a chance to get a goal back for them but he puts it wide but here comes Suarez plays it to Greenwood Mia plays it to Ernest Unal with a chance again Mamar Dashvili gets a hand to it but the number 10 for Getafe with 13 minutes left to play has a chance to make a game of it and here comes Jose Gaia plays it to Pedro Neto who's gonna hold it up for Alexis Vega and you already know what the outcome was he was gonna score that he was never gonna miss it for no goal this man never seems to miss an important chance especially one-on-one -on -one, even though he did earlier this game but you know he scores again he scores the second goal take a look at this for a turn of freeze from Tecatito Corona has a chance to have his first Valencia goal and that is exactly what happens as we have some Mexican mm, brilliance in this game against Getafe who may he makes it 4-1 I do believe and yeah man that just caps off a absolutely fantastic performance as you can see there Valencia for Getafe one we're just loving life here we just seem to get it, be getting win after win things are looking very good as we as we fight to get Champions League football for next season a game here against Real Betis you already know Alexis Vega I did once again man yet another goal for him in the second half of season one and he's finishing off strong and he is looking like a fantastic sign and here comes Almeida once again the Portuguese has a chance he has a free kick will he score it yes he will man a fantastic goal off the post this man can do no wrong when it comes to hitting a dead ball this guy is so so good man if He's our highest free kick accuracy taker at 80. Imagine somebody with a very, like a, a higher free kick accuracy. I mean, take a look at this ball from Hugo Durham and a little back here to Chiquinho, who scores his first goal, at least on camera. And yeah, he doubles our lead, makes it 2 0 to us. Or 3 0? He makes it 3 0, I do believe. Against Real Batiste, man, what a fantastic little play. And take a look at this. Lazaro with some pace who flicks it up and just runs, man. Has a chance to round the keeper. He does. He back seals it to Chiquinho. And I mean, that attacking goal right there just sums up our our plan pretty much, man. We're just an attacking threat, a counter-attacking style of play is what we do, is what we do best. And we have the players for it. We have the speed, the quick players on the wings. And yeah, man, we ended up winning four. 4 0. And uh, I think that was one of the first games that we actually didn't concede, man. We really need to work on defense. And speaking of working on defense, a game against Real Sociedad away three minutes in, we're already conceding. So that's one thing we got to work on coming next season. So if you have any transfers for defenders, do let me know. Anyways, 1 0, we're losing. And then here come uh, Real Sociedad once again. And take a look at that. That is an absolutely fantastic strike. You can't even be mad that we're conceding that. But 30 minutes in, 2 0 down to Sociedad. Things are not looking good and things just get a little bit worse because right before the break, they make it three. It's a goal fest here at Real Sociedad as their number 12. Makes it three 
To Real Sociedad nil to Valencia, absolutely crazy. We are getting smacked up and we have to do something about it. Alexis Vega leading the attack, plays it to Chiquinho with his third goal of the of the of the video so not too bad there and on the counter attack not that many moments later alexis vega up and over to pedro neto has a chance to get a second one back and it's all of a sudden from three nil it's three two we have a chance to go ahead and get a result from this game but sadly we don't we end up losing three goals to two Russell said I was just so much better in the first half than us and we could not get a third goal. But anyways, here is how the first season ends. We finished fifth, but look at the top of the table. Barca, 82 points. Real Madrid, 82 points. Sevilla, 82 points. That is crazy, man. Any one of those three teams could have won the league and be, one of them being Sevilla was just crazy, man. I swear we slapped them up in one of the games. But anyways, yeah, we finished fifth. 21 wins, 9 draws, 8 losses, 69 wow goals scored. 43 conceded, not a bad season <clears throat> for this first one as we secure Europa League. We were close to securing Commerce, but no, we got Europa League. So maybe we can pull a Sevilla and win it next season. You never quite know. But anyways, top goal scorers Hugo Dura, as you can see there, with 18 goals. Ama, um, Amala with 10. He, I didn't even think featured once in our highlights, man. Underrated guy. Underrated also a Lazaro with 8 goals and 7 assists. Man, Chiquinho doing well, Guy doing well. Just the boys putting up numbers. It was a fantastic first season. Uh, exceeded expectations. I thought we were going to get maybe Conference League. We got Europa League. We didn't quite get Champions League. That is pros. It has to be the aim for next season to get into the Champions League, whether that be in the league or winning the Europa League. But we have Europa League to look forward to in the next episode. But as ever, if you guys did enjoy this, uh, first season uh, with the Indy Valencia make Valencia great in career mode and this video please do leave a like we'll be back soon and um, <clears throat> yeah man we'll see you very soon with another episode of the make Valencia great in career mode very soon take care everybody